Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a rotating character animation sequence in DaVinci Resolve 17.2. Inside your edit window, go to Effects Library. Underneath Toolbox, select Effects and go to find the Fusion Composition. Click and drag one of these effect filters to the start of your edit timeline. By default, the Fusion Composition clip in DaVinci Resolve has a 5 second duration, playing with a frame rate of 24. The frame rate of your Fusion Composition clip will depend on the frame rate of the project timeline. In order to check what this is, go to Project Settings, and the project frame rate will appear inside the master settings. The animation sequence that we will create in this tutorial will comprise of 48 stills to make up a two second animation sequence before the text message remains static on screen. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, hold Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom of this new window to find the text 3D tool. Select this and go to click on Add. With the text 3D1 node selected, hold Shift and press Space again and go to add the Renderer 3D tool. Click on the grey box to the right of Renderer 3D1, hold your mouse button down and drag your cursor to the yellow arrow to the left of Media Out 1 to make a connection. Select the text 3D1 node, go to Inspector, ensure that the frame pointer on your Fusion timeline is referring to the very first frame, 0, at the start of your animation clip. Underneath Text, type in the text box the message that you wish to have appearing in your rotating character animation sequence. For this particular project, I'm going to keep the font as Open Sans and Bold with the colour also remaining as white. To reposition the text downwards slightly so that it is in the middle of the canvas, select Layout, change Centre Y to 0.3. Select the first Transform option next to Layout. Ensure that Transform remains set as Characters so that the animation sequence applies to each individual character in this animation instead of the whole message. In order to have the outer characters in your message appear from the sides in your animation sequence, we will need to increase the spacing value first. In this particular example here, for this short text message, I will increase spacing to 1.5. Note how the first and last characters in this particular message are now completely off canvas or only partly showing. Since we want the characters to join together again after the two second animation sequence is over, the value for the spacing variable needs to change. In order for this to happen in the animation sequence, select the keyframe diamond icon to the right of the value that you have entered for this variable. We will rotate the characters horizontally by 180 degrees. In order to do this, select rotation and change Y to 180. Select the keyframe diamond icon for this variable also. Now go to the second transform option which appears next to shading. The characters should float inwards from the viewer and onto canvas as they join together. In order to have these characters appear closer to the viewer at the very start of the animation, go to translation and increase Z to 2. Select the keyframe diamond icon for this variable also. Now skip forward on your timeline to the frame representing the 2 second mark in your animation. In this case here it will be frame 48. Now reset the translation Z value to 0 by clicking on the grey circle which appears underneath the Z scrolling adjustment feature. Return to the first transform option. In order to flip the characters horizontally so that they return to their normal form after 48 frames, reset the value for rotation Y to 0. And to have the characters join together, reset the spacing value also. 
At present, some of your characters may disappear when they are at a 90 degree angle as they float inwards from the viewer. In order to enhance the three dimensional effect of your characters so that they remain visible on screen throughout your whole animation sequence, go back to the text option in Inspector, select Extrusion, and increase extrusion depth slightly to 0.015. To also add an optional fade effect at the start of your animation sequence, return to your edit window. In your effect library toolbox, select video transitions and go to find cross dissolve. Click and drag one of these transition filters to the start of your fusion composition clip. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you found the content helpful and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.